What's up guys and welcome. This is a special, special day. We're doing an unboxing of the new Concept2 biker. Now, this is new to me. It's relatively new to the market, but this is the biker. You may or may not have seen it. It's a Concept2 product using almost all the same parts of other machines that you've seen, the rower or the skier and this is a bike version. Different from a traditional spin bike in that it is flywheel based. You're taking almost the exact same flywheel that you're getting from a rower or a skier, putting it onto a bike, which lends to a couple different things. Number one, your resistance is created in two ways. That is either through your damper setting, unlike a traditional spin bike where you would simply adjust a, a brake on the wheel. So you will have damper setting changing your resistance, but also cadence will change your resistance. So you can spin at both high and low cadence, and it is going to be one of the impacts of your resistance, unlike a traditional spin bike. So let's get into it and see what's inside one of these boxes as we open them up. By the way, packing weight on this, this came in at 80 pounds. The machine itself when unpacked is I believe 57 or 58 pounds. So definitely a, a fair amount of weight that gets lost after we get rid of the packaging. As always, the Concept2 boxes come nicely with handles on all four sides, making it easy for delivery people to carry and also not too hard for you to be able to move around yourself. Just need a good box knife, cut through the tape. Let's see what we're working with. There we go. Are you ready? <laughs> this is exciting. The box is actually hiding the machine right now. Nope, that didn't do it. Nope, that didn't, there's tape, there's tape. Please wait excitedly. There's one. Et voila, we have our biker. Now, Things that you're gonna see uh, as we come through it. Number one, you have your styrofoam packing. This is pretty traditional. But what's amazing about all Concept2 machines that despite their size, they all come pretty nicely flat packed and with pretty simple assembly procedures. So you'll find that the contents are gonna be fairly minimal because there's not much assembly usually that's required. I have not put a biker together. So we're gonna go through that as well. Nice solid styrofoam packing. I don't know that I have seen a Concept2 machine that has arrived damaged. All right, so first thing that's coming out is the PM5 monitor. All bikers are going to come with a PM5 monitor. That is the latest monitor from Concept2. It has Blue Ant and Bluetooth, or Ant Plus, sorry, and Bluetooth technology, meaning it will connect to a wide variety of heart rate monitors and has all of their latest software included. And it'll also connect to things like Zwift, so especially on this bike, that's kind of cool. You can actually run a Zwift program so you could have like an iPad running on your machine and be able to interact with different systems. As well, Erg Data, of course, the Concept2 app is going to be able to connect to this and you're gonna be able to track and push your workouts to the Concept2 logbook. Here we have our handlebars. Now, the nice part is Concept2 designed this to be pretty modular. So handlebars, for example, you can swap these for I believe standard cycling handlebars. If you have handlebars that you prefer and you actually wanna use this for cycling training purposes, you could easily swap out this headset here and put in whatever handle system that you wanted or were used to or perhaps straight off your own bike. Next, some more styrofoam. All right, here we go. This is our parts box. Okay, inside our parts box, we have all of our nuts and bolts. So we have an Allen key in here, which is gonna be used to tighten everything down. Now I have the Concept2 driver, so I'll, I'll be using that. But we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of one bolt four of another and two of another. I'm assuming the manual will be here to tell me a little bit more about how I use those. Next, I have my braces for my feet, one of which oh, has these very nice, these appear to be rollerblade wheels. I say yes to Rosie. But very nice spin, spin on this, and they're big wheels. Now, I will add that that would be nice 
especially on like a rower or a skier, giving us these bigger wheels to make it a little bit easier to move. I imagine that's gonna make this very nice to be able to cart around. Here we go. This is what I was referencing. So we have, there we go. We do have the Concept2 driver. Usually comes standard in the boxes, so here you go. That is here. Then it looks like we have another pedal. So the pedals that come with this are going to be what I would consider a standard mountain bike style pedal. Gendel is our brand on this, but this is a standard mountain bike pedal. So it's a nice wide, fat, heavy pedal. But again, as I mentioned, this bike is meant to be modular, which means that you can swap these out. This is a very standard pedal connection. So if you are a cyclist, you could swap this out for clipless pedals or whatever style pedal you wanted. If you had egg beaters, most likely you could put those on as well. And in having tried one of these before, now I don't have one of my own. This is my first time assembling one, taking one out of the box. I had wished that I would be able to get an upstroke and that is what you get because I, I have cycled before. You get an upstroke when you have a pedal like this, a clipless pedal, or a, not like this, a something with a cage or that connects to a shoe. You can actually get power on that upstroke. Now by swapping out the pedals, that would allow me to do that. So there's that pedal. So this is my central unit. This is what is going to have, yeah. So my wiring is here for the monitor itself. This is my flywheel. Again, this is your standard flywheel from the same flywheel that you're gonna get on the rower and on the skier. There is a nice little pad, I would call this like a, almost feels like silicone or rubber strip on top of the body. I'm assuming that is for as like a step plate so that you don't damage the body itself when you are stepping onto it. Notice they've got the nice Concept2 branding on their boxes as well. So I'm gonna try and as delicately as possible move that out of the way. Okay. And this looks like it's gonna be my seat post. I believe this is gonna be my seat post. Interesting, I really enjoy how they manufactured this or how they designed this. Your seat post is actually just this, I might have to loosen it. I'm gonna loosen this knob and then you're gonna see that it's almost like a, a ratchet system here. So if I wanna raise the seat, it's extremely easy. I can do it while I'm riding actually. All I have to do is lift and you can hear that click. It's locking into place on this. I'm, I'm gonna call this a ratchet system. I'm sure it has an official name, but if I need to release it, all I do is push down on this lever, it releases and then I can slide that seat back down. And then this is gonna be my tight and loosen for the seat. I'm sorry. This is gonna be for my handlebar. They have this same system, because the seat's right here. They have this same system for all of the adjustments on the machine. So the seat gets this same treatment for this ratchet up and down system, which is why I was mistaken, which means that your both handlebars are going to be able to elevate and lower, as well as your seat is going to elevate and lower using the same system. And then for my head post, which holds my handlebars, that's going to be able to slide in and out as well. That's what this top guy is doing. And so any adjustments that you're gonna make are going to be very uh, customizable to you. And I think that's what I enjoy about the machine is how customizable it is. It allows you to move forward, back, up, down in all positions, meaning the seat, the handlebars, it's all movable, just like an actual bike would be. So let's set that aside. And the seat post. There we go. There is our seat post. I'm gonna get the directions and we're gonna actually go through putting this thing together, together. And as I just discovered, I knew it was in here, but I hadn't seen it yet. The manual. This, uh, this should be relatively easy. 8.4 times 10 to... So I'm just gonna pull this manual out. Typically, this is going to take me through installation. But as always, here's one of the beautiful parts. Whenever you're buying anything from Concept2, they are literally giving you their direct phone number. So this is that if you need customer service help, if you're struggling with the assembly, or you need any help with anything that they do, internationally or domestic, they want you to call them, get a hold of them, and you will be able to get some hands-on help assembling or doing what you need to do to get your machines ready. And that's the beautiful part about Concept2. They just make great hardware and they have great customer service. That's kind of tough to beat. Then we have our assembly manual separate from your actual product manual. So 
product manual. I'm not going to read through this, but this is going to teach you everything that you need to know about the system. It looks like it comes in English, Spanish, French, German, Chinese. Yep, it comes in several different languages. So keep this around. I do highly encourage you read through the manuals. You will learn a lot especially about how to disassemble your machine, how to maintain it. Like there's a whole maintenance section here. There's a performance monitor section. These things are valuable to you. So that's our manual. And finally, our instruction manual. So yeah, our, what we're looking at here, we have 16 three quarter inch screws. Then we have two three inch and four three quarter inch. So let's get assembly. Alright guys, so we are going to put this thing together and walk through it together so you can see what the actual assembly looks like. So I have a six lobe driver, I have a six millimeter key in there, then I have four three quarter inch without patch screws, then I have three, two three inch and sixteen three quarter inch with patch screws or bolts. I would call I consider them bolts over screws. Let's just go into assembling this thing. All right. Lay out all the parts as shown. All right. Time to readjust. Let's time lapse this. I feel like this is too good for you guys not to be able to see the overhead of what I'm seeing. Let's take a look. On with the assembly. This is already getting exciting. So something that the manual recommends on all these is that you finger tighten first and then use your driver. I think that's a good rule of thumb. So some of these bolts get a little bit snug and we have to get pretty close to the machine. with the driver, but that's okay. So again, I'm finger tightening all four of these first. This is the rear post leg. My forearms are getting tired. All right, now we're taking the rear leg to the box, they're calling it the box assembly. I can see how having a friend helping you with this would be very helpful. It's also worth mentioning at this point, this whole frame is a solid aluminum build, which is really nice. You know that you're getting a good, strong system. There really are not many plastic parts other than like simply lever and knobs. And for those, you actually would want those to be light, but sturdy. So I think overall materials choice on this machine, just like with all machines, you're getting literally the same genetic makeup of a rower and the skier as you're used to, just in bike form now. I'm working up a pretty good sweat right now. <laughs> all right, coming along. These are the last of my 1201 bolts. So there are 16 of these, and I'm on my last two. The nice part is most of this is pretty self-explanatory. 
doesn't require much of a degree to figure these out. It's getting exciting. Insert the handlebar into the handlebar post. Yes, please. There we go. Okay. Monitor's going in. <laughs> that would explain it. Wrong way. <laughs> that would have been a fun attempt. Okay. Monitor goes in. Monitor cable. All right. My last four. Got it. So the difference between these is that these last four don't have a thread compound on them. Oh, I plugged it in and it already fired up the monitor. That's fun. Oh yeah, these go in much easier. That thread compound really grabs, but that's good on all the other 16 screws because that means that you're not worried about those suckers loosening up as this thing moves. All right, now I'm gonna put in the other pedal. That's what this six millimeter wrench is for. So, don't know why I know this. I guess I had a lot of friends in bike shops when I was a kid, but pedals are reverse threaded. So you'll notice that as the pedal's going in, you're actually turning to the left on this guy, not the right. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now that makes sense because as you're pedaling, you want it to be tightening, not loosening the threading here. Stable level surface. I feel like I needed to tighten these front screws a little bit more. It helped leveling the whole thing out. The upside is you'll be getting a workout just assembling your workout equipment. And that, my friends, is your biker. Whoa, I should probably take the strand wrap off the flywheel. Let's give her some pedal strokes and see how she feels. There we go. Yeah. Oh no. Oh what? All right. Let's see how I adjust on this thing. Get my monitor turned on. Let's just ride for number one. See, as I mentioned, I can just lift and adjust my seat in place to find my height. Ah, oh, that's smooth. That is the one thing I have to compliment on this bike, is how smooth it is. It, it doesn't have like any clunky feel. Now, it's also worth noting that there is no chain drive on this. This is a belt driven machine, which adds to reducing that clunkiness. And it feels like a lot more direct power from my legs to the machine. And while these are stock handlebars, they're actually quite nice because I can get into the drops. I can ride on the crossbars. If I want to jump on front grips, I can. And I would encourage you to play with all these. This is a really smooth, nice feel. And I would say that I think this comes in at $990. It's right in line with all the other machines, the rower, the ski erg, priced under the, the Model E. If you were to buy a Model E rower, this is less than that. And you know, Concept2 has a two year warranty on their machines. I think it's a great machine. It feels super solid. I just assembled it in maybe 25 minutes. I think I'm gonna start getting a lot of use out of this thing. So that's the unboxing of the biker. Whether you like it or not, this machine's out there. It's starting to rise in popularity for sure. I will definitely be testing out this machine. And thanks to Concept2 for sending this out here. This is definitely a, a machine to watch. And something that I appreciate the modular capability of this, meaning being able to put on my own handlebars, swap out the pedals, put on a seat that I wanted. I didn't mention that, but the seat is swappable. So, you know, I could put on my own seat to this. And all of that just makes it feel really customizable, which I think there's a lot of value to that. And I'll be interested to play with things like Zwift and see how other apps are able to, to respond to this machine and what it can do and how how it plays. So we'll see on all that, but thanks for tuning in. If you guys have a biker, I'd love to hear about it. What are your thoughts? Have you been thinking about getting one? What's holding you back? Or what convinced you to get one? 
I want to know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And just what are your thoughts on general, whether or not you have one? What do you think of the biker? What do you think of Concept2 getting into the bike game? I'd love to know. Let's start a discussion around this and let's be the discussion. So guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. If you love this, hit the little subscribe button over there and hit the bell next to it so you get alerted for all of our new videos. Uh, maybe we'll have a bike workout video coming soon. And with that being said, as always, we'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Idiot. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this and you're looking for more and you want workouts, continuous coaching from me and my other coaches in our private Facebook community. It's our monthly workout program. It's $39 a month. Just go over to darkhorserowing.com slash athlete to sign up now.